Big in the whole way with an HK. My niggas all about gunplay. I get my work from Jose. That's how my shit is okay. Y'all niggas, y'all okay. Post it up for the whole sake. And yeah, we post it up with them grams. And hey, y'all post it up for the gram. I keep me a gun at home jam. And I shoot till this burn in my hand. Um, what's going on, y'all? This gonna be my last reaction for the day. Um, this reaction is for, uh, Young Sway. You know what I mean? Let's get into your reaction. You requested Michael Jackson on the dating game, 1972. Let's get to it. You know what I mean? Thank you for being a part of my channel, Young. What I'm talking about? All right, let's go. All right. Let's go, Michael. Thank you. Jim Riley. Thank you very much, Johnny. Thank you. Well, now there are three young timers waiting to charm a certain popular young singing star. So let's meet those delightful damsels right now. And here are the ladies. Hi, gals. Are you ready? Okay, our first charming young miss is on her school's basketball team and has never missed a day of school. Her favorite subject is math, and she loves to dance. She wants to be a teacher. Her name is Latanya Simmons. Welcome, Latanya. Pretty and petite Miss Number Two who wants to be an actress. She was the star of her school's play. She loves to dance and sing. She likes to crochet and do arts and crafts work. Please welcome Venus Franklin. Welcome, Venus. Good luck. And today's third lovely young lady is a sixth grade student who tap dances and does modern dancing too. She likes to play baseball and go skating, and she loves riding her mini bike. Here is Demetra McHenry. Those are the three young charmers for today's second game. Now, in order to keep our special guests from hearing anything about our lovely young ladies, we've been keeping him isolated off stage in a soundproof room. I'd like you to meet him right now. His single recording of Rock and Robin is a book. Right. And the album is from He's the lead singer and the youngest member of the Jackson Five. He loves sketching and drawing, playing basketball and candy and bubble gum. Please join me in a special dating game. Welcome for a fine young man, Michael Jackson. Hello, Michael. Welcome. Welcome. Just a minute, Michael. We're going to tell you just a little bit about what's happening. There are three gals over there, and they're going to answer your questions. Now, you listen carefully and then decide which one you think would be the best one for you, okay, when it's all over. And okay. right, we'll start with a hello. Bachelorette number one, would you please say good afternoon to Michael? Good afternoon, Michael. All right, number two. Hello, Michael. And number three. Good afternoon, Michael. All right, you ready, Michael? Have a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Good luck to everybody, and here we go. Uh, number one, I've never been out on a date before. What do two kids like us do on a date? <laughs> oh, yeah. Eat ice cream. We have fun. Go to a restaurant. Have dinner together. <laughs> okay. Same question, number three. Number three. Well, we have fun. We go out to dinner, and then I go over to your house. <laughs> <laughs> so she about that action. She about that action. Uh, number two. If I bring my pet snake, Rosie the Crusher, along on our first date, what will you bring along, and why? I would bring a a snail, because snail, because it crawls, and your snake would probably eat it. <laughs> okay. Uh, number one, whenever I go out, girls are always following me. If we go out together and a bunch of girls start following me, let's hear what you say to them to make them go away. Get away from him. He's mine, not yours. Okay. <laughs> Question number two. Number two. I'd say, you better scat right now. <laughs> you better scat right now. Uh, number one, pretend it's the day after our date. Pick up your phone and call your best friend and tell her how it went. Hello? Is this uh, Thomasina? We, we had fun and everything. We, we went to the hotel and everything. We had fun. <laughs> uh, same question.
question number two. Number two. Oh, hello, Rosie. Oh, we had the greatest time ever. We went to the movies and ate popcorn and everything, and we had a wonderful time. And guess what? He gave me a kiss. <laughs> Number three, I've had a few, so tell me, what do you think our first kiss will be like? It'd be lovely. <laughs> so uh, hey. Number one, so I like art and I draw a lot of cartoon characters. So, so look at see. number three and tell me what cartoon character she looks like and why. She looks like um, Mickey the Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Question number one. That was number one. Oh, Michael. okay. Number two. Number two. Who should she look three. at? Look at number three. Same for. Well, she looks like um, Samantha. Samantha. Oh, okay. Uh, number two. What makes a look you a little bitty pretty one, or are you? Well, because I am beautiful. <laughs> And I got a name like the great goddess of love. Okay. All right, same question. Okay, that's it, Michael. Now you have to make your mind up. You see like this, see like this, and think about it. And Bob Michael has taken a short time to make up his mind which of our lovely ladies is going to get the date. We'll take time out for these good words. Watch. She right there. She high. She a little. She right there. She with the shits. The third one is with the shits, man. The first one, she used to be young, but she a little shy. The second one, she a little shy too, but she borderline with the shits and shy. Don't go anywhere. We're coming back with more classic episodes of the dating game right after this. Welcome back to the dating game, right. and Michael, this is a difficult decision to say the least. Each of the gals was charming, but only Michael one shoot, of the three will be your date. Now, will it be bachelorette number one, bachelorette number two, or bachelorette number three? Which one do you select? Uh, you number one. one. Number yeah. one! Yeah! Yeah! All right. Yeah! Well, number one, Michael, is the lucky gal. Is there any particular reason, Michael, why you chose number one? Uh, I like to hear it. You like their answers. Well, they all did a real fine job. Now, we're going to meet the other gals first. Bachelorette number two loves arts and crafts. She wants to be an actress. She was the star of her school play. She, like you, loves to sing and dance. And uh, her, she is named after the goddess of love. Her name is Venus Franklin. Venus, come and say hello to my club. Oh, thank you, Venus. You can come right out here. Very good job. You also didn't select Bachelorette number three and... I'd like to tell you something about her, Michael. She does both tap and modern dancing. She likes to play baseball and go skating. She loves riding her mini bike. Her name is Demetra McHenry. Demetra, come and say hello to Michael Jackson. Yeah, she did the shit. She did the line Demetra, thank you very much, dear. And now, yeah, number one. And I'd like to tell you something about your date, Michael. Stand by. She is on her school's basketball team. Okay. Believe that? Her favorite subject is math because she wants to be a teacher. She, too, loves to dance. Her name is Latanya Simmons. Latanya, come and say hello to Michael. Congratulations, Latanya. Well, Michael, we know that your new album is entitled Got to Be There. And, Latanya, we want you to be there at the Jackson 5's first big concert of this season. So your date will take you both to... New York City! Yes, Latanya, you and your mother and your dating game chaperone will be flying to New York City to join Michael at Madison Square Garden for the first concert of his nationwide tour. The two of you will visit the famous Sardi's Restaurant, along the Broadway theater crowd's favorite dining place. You'll stay at the luxurious Marriott's Essex House, Manhattan's super setting for pleasant living and gracious entertainment. And there'll be a good chance to do some sightseeing, all on your big date to the big town of New York City. And thank you very, very much. Thank you. Okay. You can run out there. Uh, can you stay with me now? Go ahead. You get acquainted. We'll see you in just a minute.
We'll be back with both our dating couples right after this message and some former dating couples enjoying the snowy scene in Sun Valley, Idaho, Yellowstone Park, and the Catskills of New York. <laughs> Mike. End of that video. Let me stop that. Um, give me a second. Hold on. Let me pause this real quick. Um. Well, young. I hope you enjoyed that. You know what I mean? Um. Yo, Mike, you had three selections. Man, he picked the right one. The third one, she was a little. Uh, I mean, they kids, so I ain't gonna say too much. They ain't kids now, cause that was years ago. That was 1972. You know what I'm talking about. So they grown now. So it ain't like I'm disrespecting them. But number three. She was out there. She's in the field. Shortstop, I mean, third base, <laughs> left field, center field. You know what I mean? She out there in the field. Uh, the second one, she in the field, but not in the field. She didn't. She's in uh in between first and second base. She didn't. She didn't move around and maneuver yet. You know what I mean? The first one, the perfect choice he could pick, man. You know what I mean? Her favorite subject is math. You know what I mean? Uh, she liked to dance. And saying, what? It's a good pick for Michael, man. You know what I mean? You know what he's doing out here in these streets, man? You know what I mean? Um, well, I hope you enjoyed that, man. Um, all right, this is my last video for the day. Uh, I mean, uh, <coughs> I'm going to go and um, give me something to take for this uh, congestion. I've been having a lot of congestion, and um, like my whole throat hurt, my chest hurt, I'm spitting up mad phlegm, so I got to go. You know what I mean? I'm about to go to... Uh, the Walgreens and um pick up some um probably some ibuprofen and some uh some other shit because my head been killing me man like I don't know maybe it's I don't know man you know what I mean but you know uh with that being said I'm gonna end this video right now and um and put I'm gonna edit these hits and put them out you know what I'm talking about and um you know what I mean thanks thanks y'all for uh y'all requests thank y'all for watching thank y'all for y'all likes y'all comments. And all my new subscribers, man, I appreciate y'all, man. I mean, thanks for being here. You could have been anywhere in the world. But you're here with me, Jay fucking Rizzle. You see the name? You know what I mean? I appreciate that. Love is love, man. All right, with that being said, um, I'll see y'all. Uh, oh, I forgot to do it. <laughs> Four minus three, one, and I'm out of here. And I'll see y'all when I see y'all, all right? Thanks for your time. All right, I'm gone, man. Enough of me talking. I could do this all day, nonstop. And I know y'all don't want me to keep talking, right? But if y'all want me to keep talking, you can leave that shit in the comments. I go. I mean, I, I do. This is what I do, man. Like, <laughs> but anyway, I'm going, man. Enough of this talking shit, man. Y'all have a good day and good afternoon, you yeah? And evening. I'm out. Love is love. 375 for the Rolex. I got a hoe, but your wife next with that fake chain. You don't respect your neck. My shit is a kilo. No saving hoes or no hero. Got the size of a hero. In my eyes, you a zero. Rich Rose with the whole say. Run up on a nigga in broad day in the hallway with a HK. My niggas all about gunplay. I get my work from Jose. That's how my shit is okay. Y'all niggas, y'all okay. Post it up for the whole sake. And yeah, we post it up with them grams. And hey, y'all post it up for the gram. I keep me a gun that won't jam, and I shoot till it's burning my hand.